because you're holy and righteous, omnipotent and mighty. Alpha, Omega, my Redeemer, my Savior. No one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the praise. No one else can receive the praise. No one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the praise. No one else can receive the praise. Because you're holy and righteous, omnipotent and mighty.
no one else deserves the glory. No one else deserves the praise. No one else deserves it other than Jesus the Christ, the Son of the Most High God. He deserves it. I said he deserves it. My God, the Father said, honor him. He deserves it. But I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. For Jesus Christ, he honored. He deserves the honor. He deserves all the glory. No one else deserves it. The preacher don't deserve it, y'all. I said the bishop, he don't deserve it. The elder don't deserve it. The apostles don't deserve it. No one else deserves the glory but Jesus. You know, I thank God for this knowledge of him. I feel good in Jesus Christ. Enemy is fighting on every hand, but I feel something stirring up in me. Hallelujah to God. Thank God for this knowledge of Jesus Christ. I thank God. I don't take it for granted. They're fighting my Savior on every hand. I thank God that I got that knowledge to know and understand that he's all we got. Without Jesus, the Son of God, we cannot be saved. Impossible. Doesn't matter how long your dress is. Doesn't matter how long your sleeves is. It doesn't matter what your bishop say. What your so-called apostles say. My God, salvation is in Jesus, the Son of God. That's where it's at. And I thank God for having that knowledge of him. Saints, I feel good. Down in my sanctified soul, I feel good. You know they're fighting on every hand. I want to remind the brothers across this land, Lord willing, my God, we less than two weeks out now. All of you brothers across the land that have laid us out, that say that we're false, that say the teaching of Jesus, the Son of God, is an error. All of you have received an invitation. I said every last one of you have. And if you hadn't received one, this is your invitation right now. Please come. Bible said, come now and let us reason together. Come now and let us reason together. Don't hide behind a microphone. Don't hide behind your camera. Come and sit across from us. And let's get down to the truth of the matter. Do you understand? And I mean you brothers, my God, from the East Coast to the West Coast. We're looking for you. Tampa, Florida, we're looking for you. We know your works. Do you understand? We know your slander. My God, Philadelphia, New Jersey, New York, my God, Columbia, South Carolina, B, South Carolina, Virginia. We're looking for all you brothers. Come and let's reason together out of the scripture. Do you understand? No use to hide behind a mic. It's time now to come with your scriptures and, and prove what you're saying. It's not a debate. My God, man, but we want to come and let's reason together. Out of the scripture, you're going to be treated with much love, much respect, and much hospitality. But at the end of the day, this is going to stand right here. I can tell you right now, I'm not concerned about no, man, no dead man CDs, no dead man audio tapes. 
Do you understand? My God, man, I'm not concerned about, we're not concerned about private interpretations. We're not concerned about private revelation. We're not concerned with private ideology. I'm concerned with one thing. Jesus said, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said. This is all we're looking for right here is Bible. Don't bring me nothing else. Do you understand? We're not concerned with the fast talk, with the loud talk. Let me tell you something. My God, we may let you go ahead and go a little while, but after a while, we're going to settle you down and say, now, come on back to this right here. Now, we done heard you, my God. We know you got a good set of lungs. You can get loud. But now put some scripture with your loudness. Do you understand? My God, man, we know you can quote your late bishop, but put some scripture with the words of your bishop. Do you understand? You say the father came down from heaven, clothed himself in flesh, went to the cross, shed it all to sonship, got out the grave being all father, no longer connected to the house of David, no longer the son of God. I want you to put some scriptures with that. You see, that sounds good to the ignorant ear. But you see, I, I may let you finish, but when you're done, I want you to flip some pages and give me some scripture to bag up what you're saying. Do you understand? Talk is cheap. It takes scriptures to prove your point. Amen. And if the scriptures don't say it, hush your mouth. Hush your mouth. Amen. Do you understand? I'm not concerned about what a dead man said. I'm, I, I'm preaching the live man. The man that was dead. But declared, I'm alive forevermore. That's the one I'm preaching. Do you understand? Hallelujah to God. Let me tell you something. They make a light of Jesus. All we got is this Jesus. Amen. You take Jesus away from me, I'm lost. Yes, you take Jesus away from me, I'm going to hell. Amen. Do you un un no, take Jesus and we have no hope. Amen. Don't try to put him back in the grave. He got out that grave. Amen. Hallelujah to God. And I thank God he got up. He got up for me. I couldn't be saved if he had stayed there. Amen. Then I would have been walking around fearing death. But being that he got up, I can get out of sin. I can live right now. I can live right. Hallelujah to God. Thank God for Jesus. Oh, I'm hearing all the foolishness. I'm hearing all the foolishness. They're making light of Jesus. My God, man, they're running around and saying, we don't pray to no, no, we don't pray to no flesh. So we don't pray to Jesus. My God, they get bold with it. We don't pray to Jesus. Folks in the background start hollering, hallelujah. Amen. you deceived and tricked by the devil. Do you understand? Because if you don't serve Jesus, if you don't worship Jesus, you're not worshiping God the Father. Because your worship toward God the Father, it goes through his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let me teach you. Amen. I said, let me teach you now. You don't know what you're talking about. Said nobody honored Jesus. Nobody worshiped Jesus when he was here. Said we don't worship no flesh. This is the teaching. Brother, give me Matthew 21. Let's take our time and walk through the scriptures. You see behind all the loud talk and all the, the hype, the street sweeper is coming behind it. There's a street sweeper that's got 66 brushes. That'll clean all that mess, clean out the street. Matthew 21. And I want you to start, brother, at verse 2. Matthew 21 and 2. What did it say, son? Saying unto them. Start at verse 1. Let's get all of that. What did he say? And when they drew nigh to Jerusalem. When they drew nigh to Jerusalem. And were come to Bethany. And came to Bethany. What happened? Unto the Mount of Olives then sent Jesus two disciples. What did he say? Saying unto them. What did they say to him? Go into the village over against you. What did What did he say? And straightway he shall find an ass tied. I want you to hear what Jesus is doing. He's giving them instruction. He's telling them two disciples where to go and what they're going to find. What he said? And straightway he shall find an ass tied. You're going to find an ass tied? And a coat with her. And a coat with the ass. What he said? Loose them. Loose them. And bring them unto me. Jesus said, bring them to me. What he said? And if any man say aught unto you. What you say, brother? You shall say. What you say to him? The Lord have need of them. Just tell him the Lord need them. You see, the Lord got to humble himself and ride on a coat, ride on an ass. You see, he got to humble himself to do that. Do you understand? Just tell him the Lord need him. What did he say, brother? 
And straightway he will send them. And what did he say, brother? All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, What did he say, brother? Tell ye the daughter of Zion. Tell ye the daughters of Zion. Behold thy king cometh. Wait a minute. Who come? Behold thy king cometh unto thee. Wait a minute. Brothers are saying today he the soon coming king. This Jesus I'm preaching is already king. Man. I get Bible, he was born king. When you say soon coming, you're not recognizing who he is right now. Now, I know he's coming back, but he's king right now. Do you understand? He's king right now. What did he say, brother? Tell ye the daughter of Zion. Tell ye the daughters of Zion. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. Your king cometh unto thee in what? Meek and sitting upon an ass. He's coming. He don't humble himself. And the king is coming sitting on an ass. What did he say, brother? And a coat the fall of an ass. And a coat the fall of an ass. What did he say? And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. And what, what happened, brother? And brought the ass and the coat. They brought the ass and the coat. And put on them their clothes. And put on them their clothes. And they set, they set him their own. They set Jesus on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here Jesus come in my God riding on the ass. Yes, he done humble himself. And what the book say, brother? And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Wait a minute. Sound like they finna give some honor here. A very large multitude spread their garments in the way. Why? A king is coming through. Amen. A king is coming through here. Do you understand? They spread their garments in the way. And what did it say, brother? Others cut down branches from the trees. Others? My God, cut branches down from the trees. And what they did, brother? And straw them in the way. And straw them in the way. What did it say? And the multitudes that went before. What happened? And that followed crying, saying. Look, you got a multitude going before, and some following, they cried, saying what? Hosanna to the son of David. Sound like to me they worshiping him. Sound like to me they worshiping him. And look, that was before he was put to death. Amen. They was worshiping him way back then. Do you understand? You see, this ain't hype, this scripture. Do you understand? What the book say, brother? Hosanna. They were saying, Hosanna. To the son of David. To the who? To the son of David. To the son of David. Hosanna to the son of David. What did it say, brother? Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he that's coming in the Lord's name. Do you understand? You see, he came in his father's name. Bless he that cometh in the Lord's name. Amen. That's the son of David. They, they look, they strode their garments. They cut my God branches down from the tree. They hollering, Hosanna to the son of David. What did it say, brother? Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. What did it say, brother? And when he was coming to Jerusalem. When he came to Jerusalem. All the city was moved, saying. All the city was moved, saying. Who is this? You ain't got to give it to him. But it's already been given to him. And he got some others on the scene that giving it to him today. Amen. They said, who is this? Who is this? What the book say, brother? And the multitude said. What did they say? This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. This is that Jesus. This is that prophet. Do you understand? This is Jesus. This is that prophet. You see, let me tell you something. My God, man, they was honoring that prophet. They was honoring the son of God. And you got brothers today saying, don't honor him, don't worship him, don't pray to him. Well, then you might as well not honor and worship or pray to the Father at all. Save your breath. Because your access to the Father is through this man, Jesus Christ. Just shut your mouth and don't pray at all. Do you understand? Don't pray at all. If you ain't coming through Jesus, no man coming to the Father. Jesus said, but by me, you got to come through me, he said. And you got a spirit, my God, man, on the scene that's trying to sway the saints away from Jesus. Away from the access, away from the door. That's the spirit of Antichrist. I said, that's the spirit of Antichrist. Do you understand? I don't, say, I don't care how many say amen to that foolishness. Amen. You can't read that foolishness. Down through the scripture, they worship the Son of God. This is not a new thing. Give me Matthew, brother, 9, 18. Matthew, chapter 9, and at verse 18. My God, let's walk here. My God, Matthew, chapter 9, and at verse 18. What did it say, twin? While he spake these things unto them. While he spake these things unto them. Behold, there came a certain ruler. There came a certain ruler. And worshipped him, saying. Wait a minute. 
That certain ruler came to Jesus and did what? And worshipped him. That certain ruler came to Jesus and did what? And worshipped him. That was before he was put to death. They was worshiping the Son of God when he was walking right here on earth. What are you talking about? Don't honor, don't worship, don't pray to him. My God, they did it down through the scripture. The Bible said he came and did what? And worshiped him. He worshiped him. He worshiped the Son of God. This is not a new thing. Matthew 15, brother, start at verse 24. And all that I get and get an understanding. Matthew 15 and at verse 24. What did he say, son? But he answered and said. What did he answer and say? I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is the Syrophoenician woman that came to Jesus. My God, man, Jesus told her, I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What happened, brother? Then came she and worshipped him. You mean she worshipping him too? Amen. Continue to read and see if Jesus is going to stop us. He's going to say, no, 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 don't, don't worship me. What did he say? Then came she and worshipped him. And worshipped him? Saying, what? Lord, help me. She said, Lord, help me. She worshipped him and she acknowledged who he was, the Lord. Do you understand? She acknowledged who he was and who he is, the Lord. Down through the scriptures, they worshipped the Son of God. Folks, you got to look beyond the hype and beyond all this excitement. And let's go back to the Bible. Let's go right back to the Bible. Now, Matthew 28, verse 16. Let's get the apostles over here. Let's see what they're going to do. Do you understand? Matthew 28 and at verse 16. You see, this is scripture, not hype. Matthew 28, 16 said what? Then the 11 disciples. Wait a minute. The who? The 11 disciples. Who is that? Is that the apostles? Amen. That's the apostles right there. Amen. The Bible said, then the 11 disciples, what happened? Went away into Galilee. They went away into Galilee? Into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. Into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And what happened? And when they saw him. When they saw Jesus, the Son of God. They worshiped him. How many do you want? How many scriptures do you need, my God, before you believe? They worship the Son of God. Amen. They, they did this down through the scripture. Do you understand? Let me tell you something, my God, man. Continue to read, brother. What did he say? Read that again. And when they saw him. When they saw, saw him. They worshiped him. They worshiped him. But some doubted. And that's what happened today. You see, we worshiping them over here, but some out there doubt. They doubt, my God, now. We don't worship flesh. Let me tell you something. Your access to the Father is through this man, Christ Jesus. Now, you can try to divide him up and say, we're going to worship the spirit, but we're going to honor him. You can't do that. That's foolish. Do you understand? That's foolish. Your access, the way you worship the father is through his son. And if you don't worship the son, you're not worshiping the father. Amen. Amen. First John, brother, 222. Let's teach the people here. First John chapter 2, and at verse 22, and all that I get and get an understanding. I want to take my time and walk through the scripture. I want folks, my God, to look beyond the hype. Let's read what God left on record. First John 2 and 22 said what? Who is a liar? There's many of them out here. There's many of them out here. Bible said, who is a liar? But what? But he that denied that Jesus is the, is the Christ. But the one that denieth that, the, that Jesus is the Christ, what is he? He is Antichrist. He is who? He is Antichrist. You got that spirit in the earth today. You got that spirit in the pulpit today. Do you understand? They from the east coast to the west coast. And I have become their worst enemy because I'm lifting the one the Father said for us to live. And it's a stumbling block to them. Amen. What did the book say, brother? Who is a liar? Who is a liar? But he that denied that Jesus is the Christ. But he that denied that Jesus is the Christ. What is he, brother? He is Antichrist. What is he, brother? That denied the Father and the Son. Wait a minute. He denied who? The Father and the Son. You see, listen to The Bible said the Antichrist would deny the Father and the Son. When you come along, my God, and accept the Father, but my God, man, don't want to acknowledge the Son, you're still Antichrist. Because the Antichrist will deny the existence of the Father and the Son. That's what that's teaching. The Antichrist will deny the existence of the Father and the Son. They want to acknowledge the Father, but say the Son don't exist. You Antichrist. You, 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 you Antichrist. That's the spirit of Antichrist. What did he say, Son? Whosoever denied the Son. This is plain, cut, and dry. Whoever denieth the Son, 
the same have not the Father. I wonder if they're reading the same Bible that we're reading from. I wonder what Bible are you brothers reading from? You can't shout over that. You can't get scripture like that and get quickened. Your reader ought to just, just slow down and let you get through shaking. And go ahead and read it. And when you try to take him somewhere else, he ought to just stay right there and say, no, pastor, we're going to read this. Do you understand? That's what they ought to do. Do you understand? What did it say, son? Whosoever denied the son. Whoever denied the son. The same have not the father. The same have not the father. But he that acknowledges the son. But when you acknowledge the son of God, what did it say, brother? Have the father also. I got the father. Because I'm acknowledging the access to the father. And that's Jesus the Christ. I'm acknowledging the door. Do you understand? The door is, is the way you go to the father. And that's through his son, Jesus Christ. I want to say to all you brothers and sisters, when you kneel and pray, you better acknowledge the Son of God. Amen. If you ain't going to acknowledge the Son of God, get off your knees because the Father will never hear you. Amen. Do you hear me talking? The only reason why he pay you any attention is because of his Son. Amen. That's the only reason why you ain't holy enough to approach the Father. That's why he created a lamb, a mediator, one for you to go through. And if you ain't willing to come through him, don't don't, just get up off your knees. Get off your knees if you ain't willing to come through his son. Do you understand? When he acknowledged himself as being the door, you can't get in this building without coming through the door. Amen. If I see some tiles up here moving, my God, man, let me tell you something. We're going to wait on you to come on through because that's a thief and a robber. We got somebody trying to come down through the roof here. My God, they don't want to come through the door. And if you don't want to come through the door, that proves to me you're dishonest. Do you understand? Only a thief and a robber would try to come through the ceiling. If you're trying to come to the Father without his son, Jesus Christ, you're dishonest. You're dishonest. You're a thief and a robber. I say you're dishonest. Do you understand? You're dishonest. And a lot of you are following these dishonest preachers. I said they're dishonest. My God, if they was honest, they'll come through the door. Do you understand? They'll come through the door. Do you understand? Hallelujah to God. Jesus declared he was the door by me if any man enter in. If you just come through me, he'll, he, he declared, I'll give you some rest. Take my yoke up on you. Jesus said, and learn of me. He said, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. All that is through Jesus. You got to acknowledge Jesus. Hallelujah to God. I said, you got to acknowledge him. And if you ain't willing to acknowledge him, get off your knees. Don't waste your time praying at all because the father will never recognize you. Give me Colossians, brother, 317. I said a father will never recognize you. My God, you better come through the access. You better come through the door. My God, man, hear me talking, and all thy getting, get a good, clear understanding. My God, what did he say, brother? Whatsoever ye do in word. Whatever. This is Colossians 317. Whatever you do in word or, or what? Or deed. Or a, look, if you come to him with some words, you're going to come in here and pray. You're praying. You see them words. My God, if you want to do a deed, how are we going to come, brother? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Wait a minute. No, do it in your name. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Do it in your bishop's name. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You better Jesus. do it in the name of the Son of God, one that the Father recognized. What did he say, brother? Giving thanks to God and the Father by how? him. By who? By him. That's why he'll recognize you because you came by him. You came by the one that he sanctified, he exalted, and he honored. Amen. Let me tell you something. We, we, we can't live without this Jesus. All we got is Jesus. And that enemy to come along now, my God, and brainwashing saints. Got them brainwashed. Got their minds all messed up. Do you understand? Talking about they pray directly to the Father. They don't need the Son. Use a fool according to the Scripture. Do you understand? Only a fool talk like that. Somebody said, don't call your brother a fool. I ain't calling my brother a fool. I don't have a brother that did not a son of God. Amen. My brothers don't do that. I got brothers in here, and all of them acknowledge that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Behold, my brethren. My brothers don't talk that foolish talk. Do you understand? All my brothers got a good, clear understanding. We need this Jesus, this Son of God. Yes, Not only the brothers, but the sisters, the mothers, my God, and even the children. Ask the children right here, my God, do we need Jesus? They'll tell you, yeah, don't everybody believe that? Even they know better. 
But here folks and the fellows in the pulpit want to deny the existence of our Savior and teaching saints to do so. You don't honor the Son of God, you cannot honor the Father. Give me John, brother, 522. My God, let me stir up your premise. I want to teach you today. My God, St. John, chapter 5, and at verse 22. My God, man, what did he say, twin? For the Father judge of no man. The Father don't judge no man. But have committed all judgment unto the Son. He committed all judgment unto the Son. What did he say, son? That all men should honor the Son. Wait a minute. All who? All men. Should do what? Should honor the Son. All, all who? All men. Should do what? Should honor the Son. All who? All men. Should do what? Should honor the Son. How? Even as they honor the Father. That's what I can read. That's what I can read right there. All men. My God, that's all men. Tampa, Florida, that's all men. Do you understand? Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, that's all men. My God, man, Mac B, South Carolina, that's all men. North Carolina, all men. My God, if you're a man, you better honor him. Do you understand? If you're a man, you better try to honor this Jesus, son of God. What did it say, son? He that honoreth not the Son. He that will not honor the Son. Honoreth not the Father which have sent him. Is that cut and dry? Is that plain? How am I a false prophet? For teaching what y'all can read. When, when, look, when twins stop reading and I just start giving you my revelation. My ideology. My God, man, my interpretation. Then you got an argument. But as long as that brother reading these scriptures, all you better say is amen. Amen. That's all you can say. We didn't write this. This stuff was written when we got here. Hallelujah to God. What did he say, brother? Verily, verily, I say unto you. Truly, truly, I say unto you. He that heareth my word. Hallelujah to God. Jesus said, if you just hear my words. And what, brother? And believeth on him that sent me. What? Have everlasting life. Do you want everlasting life? Do you have, look, look, look. You see, everlasting life got a name. Amen. I said everlasting life, eternal life, he got a name. I said he got a name. Give me St. John, brother, 313. Let's teach the people here. I want to show you eternal life got a name. My God, St. John 3 and at verse 13, what did it say, twin? And no man have ascended up to heaven. Then nobody come down from heaven. But he that came down from heaven. Hallelujah to God. No man did what, twin? Read that again. And no man have ascended up to heaven. No man went up to heaven. But he that came down from heaven. You know, but the same one that came down from heaven. Amen. You see, the one that came down from heaven, he came down from heaven as the word. And he went back up into heaven as the son of God. Do, do, you, do, you, do you get that? You see, he came down as the word. The Bible said in the beginning was the word. Then the Bible said the word was made flesh. In St. John chapter 6, Jesus said, I am come down from heaven. Do you understand? How did he come down? Flesh didn't come down. The word came down, but the Bible said the word was made flesh. He came down from heaven. I said that was the son of God came down from heaven. Don't mess with me now. My God, you're going to make us pull more scripture. Do you understand? What did it say, brother? And no man have ascended up to heaven. But who? But he that came down from heaven. Even who? Even the Son of Man. Even the Son of Man. Which, which is in heaven. Hallelujah. Even who? The Son of Man. And where he at? Which is in heaven. Even who? The Son of Man. And where he at? Which is in heaven. Continue to read, brother. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. What did he say, brother? Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. The Son of Man. Jesus, the Son of God, got to be lifted up. You see, let me, let me teach you. He had to physically, physically be lifted up. My God, man, but today we as men of God, we got to lift him up. Amen. He has already physically been lifted up, but now we got to lift him up in preaching. We got to exalt him. His father have highly exalted him. And we as the men of God, we got to exalt him. His father exalted him, and we got to exalt him. What did it say, brother? And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted so up. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. That what? That whosoever believeth in him. Wait a minute. Whoever believeth in who? Believeth in him. 
Whoever believeth in who? In him. Whoever believeth, that's to continue to believe in him. Not believe up until the cross. Not believe up until the grave. Continue to believe in him. What's the result? Should not perish. If you just continue to believe in him, he said, you won't perish. Amen. You won't perish. If we just continue to believe in him. You know why? Because whom the Son have made free is free indeed. When you get a knowledge of the Son of God, it frees you. Do you understand? This is why we don't fear no man. This is why we don't fear spirits. Why? Because we've been made free by the Son of God. He done made us free. And being made free by the Son, I know he got my back. Whom the Son have made free. It's free indeed. Do you understand? My God, the psalmist said in Psalms 2.12, kiss the son. Kiss the son. Blessed, my God, is all of them that trust in him. The psalmist lets you know that he was trusting in the son of God. That's why he was able to say, yea, though, I walk through the valley of the shadows of death. I fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. I got somebody with me. Who's with me? My God, my help. Jesus, the Christ, the Son of God. And being that he's with me, he done made me free. I don't have to fear nothing or nobody. Amen. When you get a true knowledge of the Son of God, it frees you. You're looking at a brother today that's free, man. I'm not afraid of a man walking. Do you understand? I'm like Paul. I commend myself to every man's conscience. Do you understand? My God, if you say we're wrong, pull up a chair. Bring forth your scripture and let's discuss it. Amen. I'm not going to throw my God, man, a rock from a thousand miles away and hide behind a mic. Not at all, brother. Come, let us reason together. Let's sit down. Do you understand? Bring forth your strong reason. Bring forth your scripture. Not talk. Not a bunch of hot air. Not just a bunch of fast talk. Not quoting the late Johnson. I can care less about that foolishness. Give me scripture, man. Give me the scripture. Give me scripture, my God. I want scripture from the one, my God, man, that death couldn't hold. You see, death still got Johnson. I said, death still got Johnson. He ain't got up. I know some of you went round the grave hoping he did get up. But let me tell you, you're wasting time. You're wasting gas. I know things was tight back in the 50s. My God, that's gas money you could have saved. Because he's still in the dust. And he's going to stay right there until my Lord Jesus called him from the dust. I said he's going to stay right there until the one I'm preaching call him up. Do you understand? Hallelujah to God. What did it say, brother? That whosoever believeth in him. Whoever believeth in him. Should not perish. If you just can believe in this Jesus. He said you won't perish. What did he say, brother? But have eternal life. What did he say, son? For God. But have who? Have eternal life. Because eternal life is in him. Jesus, the son of God, is eternal life. Do y'all get this? I said, Jesus, the son of God, he is eternal life. Verse 34, brother, St. John 3.34. My God, man, St. John 3.34. What did it say, son? For he whom God hath sent. What do he do? Speaketh the words of God. Continue to read, brother. For God giveth not the spirit by measure unto him. What did he say, son? The father loveth the son. The Father is the Son. The Father loveth the Son. No, Father is the Son. The Father loveth the Son. My brothers misread this thing. The Bible said the Father is the Son. It says the Father loveth the Son. And what the Bible say, brother? And have given all things into his hand. Oh, he did? So the Father gave all things into the Son's hand. Oh, amen. Continue to read, brother. He that believeth on the Son. Believeth? Amen. That's a continuation there. He that believeth on the Son, what's, what's the result? Have everlasting life. But what if they don't want to believe it? And he that believeth not the Son. What? Shall not see life. That's what I can read. All our eternal life, everlasting life, salvation, is all in Jesus, the Son of God. People, if you don't get this, pray God to open your understanding. Because this thing is cut and dry and it's everywhere in the Bible. It ain't one or two places. It's everywhere. Amen. Do you understand? First John, brother, chapter 2, start at verse 1. 
First John 2 and 1. What did it say, twin? My little children. What you say, brother? These things write I unto you. What that what? That ye sin not. Look, first John 1 and 1. Fall back to that. First John 1 and 1. What did it say, son? That which was from the beginning. He's talking about something that was from the beginning. What is it, twin? Which we have heard. We heard it. Which we have seen with our eyes. After hearing it, we was able to see it with our eyes. What is it? Which we have looked upon. Now look, don't forget that which was from the beginning. You're talking about something that was from the beginning. We heard it. We was able to look upon it. Then we was able to handle it with our hands. What is it? And our hands have handled. And our hands handled it? Of the word of life. Who is it? Of the word of life. So we was able to hear it, then we was able to see it, then it was manifest where our hands could handle it. And the Bible call it the word of life. The word of life. The word of life. Do you remember the Bible said the word was made flesh? The word of life. The word was made flesh. Who was that? Jesus. The son of God. That's the word of life. That was the word of life that we was able to hear. My God, that we was able to, my God, see and then handle. He's the word of life. Do you understand? What did the book say, twin? For the life was manifest. Wait a minute. That life was manifested. That life was manifested. That life was made known. What you say, brother? And we have seen it. And we saw that life. And what you say, brother? And bear witness. And bear witness. And show unto you that eternal life. Wait a minute. Show unto you what? That eternal life. Show unto you that eternal life. What is that? Which was with the Father. So that was some eternal life with the Father. That was some eternal life with the Father. Continue to read, brother. And was manifested unto us. That eternal life that was with the Father, it was manifest unto us. What did he say, brother? That which we have seen. That which we seen. And heard. And heard. Declare we unto you. John said, we not going to declare it unto you. He said, we seen it and we heard it. Now we telling you all about it. What you say, John? That ye also may have fellowship with us. That you may have fellowship, John said, with us. And what? And truly our fellowship is with the Father. And truly our fellowship is with the Father? And with his son, Jesus Christ. With who? His son, Jesus Christ. That's the eternal life that was with the Father. His son, and what's his name? Jesus Christ. That's the name of eternal life, Jesus Christ. And if you don't have Jesus Christ, you don't have eternal life. Do you understand? It's all in Jesus. Hallelujah to God. First John, brother, chapter 5. My God, man, let's teach the people here. First John, chapter 5, and at verse 10. All thy getting, get a good, clear understanding. First John 5 and 10. What did he say, son? He that believeth on the Son of God. I love how the gate old mouth. He that believeth on the Son of God. Have the witness in himself. He got the witness down in him. Hallelujah to God. What did he say, brother? He that believeth not God. What? Have made him a liar. If you don't want to believe it. It's because God has made you a liar. And that's what you got out here today, a bunch of apostolic liars. Do you understand? Think they know and don't know nothing. Do you understand? Think they know and don't know nothing. Y'all heard the preacher this morning on the radio. Many of y'all heard it. My God, man, you see, I was setting a bear trap for him. <laughs> Do you understand? When I was asking them questions, my God, man, I was cocking back the, my mother to clamp on it. Because I knew after a while he was going to step in it. All you had to do was just keep on following me through the jungle. My God, and after a while, I'm going to get your ankle here, and you ain't, you ain't coming out of this. And, and I, I knew exactly what, what, what we were doing. I asked him a question, my God, man, concerning, my God, the one that came from Nazareth, the son of God that came from Nazareth. He said, my God, man, you know, basically that was the flesh, that's the son that came from Nazareth, not the spirit, not God. I said, yes, sir, I agree with you. I agree with you that it was the flesh, the body of Christ, the baby Jesus that came from Nazareth. Because Matthew 2.19, by God, man, prophecy was for them to take him over into Nazareth where the prophets could be correct that he shall be called a Nazarene. So that was dealing with the baby Jesus. So when he acknowledged that, and I said, well, that's all I want, sir. I said, that's all I wanted to hear. My God, man, the clamp is coming down on your ankle right now. 
I said, now just stay right there. My God, I had my brother to get my, uh, Acts 22 and start at verse 6. My God, when that voice spake from heaven and said, oh, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? My God, man, look, the response was, who art thou, Lord? That voice spake from heaven and said, I'm Jesus of Nazareth. He went to Holland. Oh, Lord, Mary, reap. I said, no, brother. I said, no, bishop. I said, bishop, now you acknowledged you acknowledge that the one that came from Nazareth was the son of God. Now the Bible is letting you know the one from Nazareth is speaking from heaven. He went to Holland like somebody who had pulled high degrees on. <laughs> Do you understand? Went to Holland, my God, man, acting, acting a fool. My God, because your foot is caught in a bear trap. Do you understand? You see, when, you, when, when your doctrine is all messed up, you're going to get tangled up. Just give it time. Because everything you're trying to make a mystery, and you can't make this Bible everything no mystery. You got to just believe what you can read. I ain't got to try to entangle nothing. I believe it all just like it's written. As the scripture has said, what a Bible called Jesus the Son of God, I call him the Son of God. What a Bible called him God, I call him God. I, I, I say it with understanding. He's my Lord and my God, but he's still the Father's Son. I know what I'm talking about. Do you understand? My God, man, I know what Thomas meant when he thrust his hands in his side and said, my Lord and my God. It ain't dark to us. I understand that. Jesus, my God, he is my Lord. And God knows he's my God. My God, man, but yet he still got a father. I got to acknowledge him as God because his father called him God. He's my Lord and my God, but he's still the son of the father. My God, you better give him all that the Father gave him. Don't you try to take nothing from Jesus. Do you understand? My God, man, all you got to do is just keep walking through the wilderness. You're going to get caught up in a snag after a while. When your doctrine is false, that's why they have to start hollering and screaming like something wrong with them. I had to tell my God, the DJ, just cut him off. I said, just cut him off. Do you understand? Cut, just cut him off. All that hollering and screaming, man. Let me tell you something, brother. The whole world is listening to this. And here you, an old man, my God, man, acting like a fool. Do you understand? My, do you understand? Denying Jesus. Not acting like a fool is a fool. Denying Jesus. The fool done said in his heart, there is no God. That's what the fool said. When you're denying the Jesus, the Son of God, you're saying there is no God. You said, I ain't got no Lord in my God. My God, man, I got a Lord and I got a God. His name is Jesus and his father raised him from the dead. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Hear me talking now. I thank God for understanding of who Jesus is. You see, all these years of wasting time going to church. My God, man, I got an understanding now. When I lift my feet and say, praise the Lord, I lift it with understanding now. I got an understanding of what I'm doing now. I'm not wasting time. My God, I'm coming through Jesus. He's that access. I say, he's the door. My God, man, we can't enter in without him. Do you understand? My God, down through the scriptures, they worship Jesus. They worship Jesus. Do y'all hear me talk? I said they wished him down through the scripture. Give me John, brother, 9 and 1. Let's teach the people. <coughs> St. John chapter 9 and at verse 1. My God, what did it say, son? And as Jesus passed by. What he saw? He saw a man which was blind from his birth. How long was he blind? From his birth. I want y'all to hear this. This teaching I hear whereby these men, these preachers, are saying, don't give Jesus no credit. Don't give Jesus no honor. Don't give Jesus no glory. Only give the glory to God. I want to show you that the apostles in this Bible, or Jesus in this Bible, he dealt with this same spirit. We're fixing to read this spirit. This stuff that y'all are hearing right now today from preachers about not giving Jesus no honor, only giving the honor to the Father. We're fixing to read with some hypocrites here. Go and do the same thing. Do you understand? I just wanted you, want you to compare the hypocrites of the day to the hypocrites we're fixing to read. A hypocrite is a hypocrite. They both got a hypocrite in spirit. Do you understand? John 9 and 1 said what? And as Jesus passed by. As Jesus passed by. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. And what happened, son? And his disciples asked him, saying. What did they ask him? Master. Master. Who did sin, this man or his parents? Who sinned, him or his parents? What did the book say, brother? That he was born blind. What the book say, son? Jesus answered. What he said? 
Neither had this man sin. This man didn't sin. Nor his parents. Nor did his parents sin. But that the works of God should be made manifest in him. What did he say, son? I must work the works of him that sent me. Jesus said what, brother? I must work the works of him that sent me. Jesus said what, brother? I must work the works of him that sent me. Jesus said, I got to do the work of the one that sent me. The one that sent me, and that was his father. Now continue to read, brother. While it is day. While it is day. What did he say? The night cometh. That what? When no man can work. What did he say, son? As long as I am in the world. What you say, brother? I am the light of the world. Is that what he said? Amen. Do y'all believe that? Amen. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. Amen. What did he say, son? When he had thus spoken. When these, Jesus thus spoke. He spat on the ground. Jesus spit on the ground. And made clay of the spit. And he made clay of the spittle. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. Now this is the son of God doing this, y'all. Do you remember what he said? I got the work of the works of him that sent me while it is day. Yeah. Now, now what did he say, brother? And said unto him. What did he say? Go wash in the pool of Siloam. Go wash in the pool of Siloam. Which is by interpretation sent. What did he say, brother? He went his way therefore and washed. And washed? And came seen. He came what? Came seen. So he can, he can see now. His eye didn't come open now. He can see. Why? He was obedient to the son of God. The son of, Bob, son of God took his took, took spit. My God, man, made some clay, anointed his eyes, and now he done went and see. And now he can see. Now watch, hypocrites ain't gonna like it because of who did. What the book say, brother? The neighbors therefore. The neighbors therefore. And they which before had seen him that he was blind. What happened? Said. What did they say? It's not this he that sat and begged. Here the neighbors like, ain't, ain't that this one that been sitting and begging? What the book say, brother? Some said, this is he. Some said, this is he. Others said, he is like him. But what the book say, brother? But he said, I am he. Everybody talking, but the one said, I'm, I'm the one. You know, that one used to be blind, used to be sitting begging y'all for stuff. Now I can see y'all. I can see all y'all now. What did he say, brother? Therefore said they unto him. What did they say? How were thine eyes open? How are your eyes open? He answered and said. What did he say? A man that is called Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Here come trouble. A man that is called Jesus. That man. That man. A man that is called Jesus. What does this book say, brother? Made clay and anointed mine eyes. He made clay and anointed my eyes. And said unto me. And what did he say? Go to the pool of Siloam. Read it. And watch. And wash. And I went and watched. I went and washed. And I received sight. And I received my sight. What the book say, brother? Then said they unto him. What did they say? Where, where is he? Where he at? He said, I know not. I don't know. They brought to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. Now they done brought him to some other hypocrites. The Pharisees. And what the book say, brother? And it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay. And what happened? And opened his eyes. It was the Sabbath day. Do you they can't condemn what he did. Now they're going to try to mess with the day he did it on. Amen. You did, the, you did it on the wrong day. Ain't that something? What did he say, brother? Then again, the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. They're going to ask him the same question. What happened? He said unto them. What did he say? He put clay upon mine eyes. He put clay on my eyes. And I watched. And I watched. And do see. And now I can see. What did he say, brother? Therefore said some of the Pharisees. What did they say? This man is not of God. Do you hear the spirit? That man ain't of God. What did he say, brother? Because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Ain't that so? Can you imagine? Here you've been blind all your life. And now you can see. And some hypocrites over here mad because you can see. And they, they questioning what day a man made you see on. Are you, are you kidding me? That man, everybody ought to be rejoicing that the man can see. But this is how a hypocrite is. They don't want to give Jesus no honor and no glory. Now continue to read, brother, and I want y'all to listen. What did they say? Others said. What did they say? How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? <laughs> y'all call him a sinner, but y'all see this man is able to see now. Y'all can say what you want to say about him, but Jesus done made this man see. What the book say, brother? And there was a division among them. Ain't that so? Just like today. What did it say, brother? They say unto the blind man again. What they say to him? What sayest thou of him? What you say about him? That he have opened thine eyes. What the book say, brother? He said. What? He is a prophet. He's a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him. They didn't believe. The apostolics today, most of them don't believe concerning him. Same spirit. 
Now watch, brother. Continue to read. That he had been blind. What? And received his sight. Continue to read, brother. Until they called the parents of him that had received his sight. Now, they, look, they ain't believed a man. Now they're going to call his parents. What did he say, brother? And they asked him. They asked the parents. Saying, is, what? This, is this your son? Is this your son? Who ye say was born blind. <laughs> y'all say he was born blind. That's what y'all say. What the book say, brother? How then do if he now see? How in the world he see now if y'all say he was born blind? What the book say, brother? His parents answered them and said. What? We know that this is our son. We do know this is our son. And that he was born blind. And we do know he was born blind. But by what means he now seeth. By how he's able to see now? We know not. We don't know. Or who have opened his eyes. Or who opened his eyes? We know not. We don't know. What is that? He is of age. He's of age? Ask him. Y'all need to ask him. He's of age. Ask him. We wasn't there. We don't know. You better ask him. What the book say, tw a twin? He shall speak for himself. Let him speak for himself. What did he say, brother? These words spake his parents. What to say? Because they feared the Jews. They feared the Jews. And what did he say, brother? But the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ. Look, look, y'all. They had already, my God, man, came to an agreement that if anybody confessed he was Christ, what? He should be put out of the synagogue. This is the same mentality amongst many of the apostolic faith churches. If anybody come and want to preach that Jesus is the Son of God, let me tell you something. All aim, everything start aiming at that individual. Because that goes against their traditional doctrine. Do you understand? And think about it. For all these years, they confessed they had it right. They, got it. they condemned everybody. And now all of a sudden, my God, man, there's a blaze of fire behind them. And they can't do nothing with it. What did it say, brother? Therefore said his parents. What did it say? He is of age, ask him. And what did it say, brother? Then again called they the man that was blind. And what did they say to him? And said unto him. What did they say? Give God the praise. Hold on a minute. I want y'all to get that statement. This is what you're hearing today. They called that man and told him, give God the praise. What they're saying is, don't give this honor to Jesus, the son of God. They saying, give God the praise. Listen to what they say. Give God the praise. Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. They talking about Jesus. They don't want to recognize what Jesus have done. They telling the man that was once blind, give God the praise. This man is a sinner. Talking about Jesus. What the book say, brother? He answered and said. What did he say? Whether he be a sinner or no. Whether he be a sinner or not. I know not. I don't know. One thing I know. One thing I do know. That whereas I was blind. Whereas I was blind. Now I see. Now I can see. Y'all can call him what you want. I don't know what he do. I don't know whether he's a sinner or not. All I know is I was once blind. And now I can see. Now that I do know. Now what he do in his spare time, I don't know about that. Do you understand? I don't know if he's a sinner or not, but I do know I was blind and now I can see. Do you understand? Look, all I know is I was once lost and now I can see. Y'all can call him what you want. Y'all can say he's still in the grave. You can say he didn't get up. All I know, I was once lost, but now I can see. Do you understand? This brother can now see. Put him back in the grave. My God, man, all I know is I was once lost, and now I can see. I can see God knows. What did he say, brother? He answered and said. What did he say? Whether he be a sinner or no. Whether he be a sinner or no. I know not. I don't know. One thing I know. One thing I know. That whereas I was blind. Where I was blind. Now I see. Now I can see. What the book say, brother? Then said they to him again. What did they say? What did he to thee? What did he do to you? How open he thine How eyes. How did he open your eyes? He answered them. What did he say? I have told you already. <laughs> I keep on telling you a man named Jesus. Do you understand? They don't want to accept what the Son of God has done. Same spirit today. What the book say, brother? And ye did not hear. I told you already you wouldn't listen. What did he say, brother? Wherefore would ye hear it again? Wherefore would you hear it again? Will ye also be his disciples? <laughs> oh, boy, he getting under the skin now. If, you, if I say it again, will y'all be his disciples? What did the book say, brother? Then they reviled him. They reviled him. And said. What did they say? Thou art his disciple. You his disciple. But we are Moses' disciples. 
You see, Moses spake of him. Do you hear me talking? I said, Moses spake of him. Nah. Moses said, the, 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 the Lord thy God shall raise up a prophet amongst the brethren like unto me. Him shall you hear in all things. This is that prophet that Moses prophesied about. What did the book say, brother? We know that God spake unto Moses. We know God spake to Moses. As to this fellow. Uh, this who? This fellow. He talking about Jesus, y'all. They talking about Jesus. They said, we know God spake to Moses, but as for this fellow. We, this fellow. What is that? We know not from, from whence he is. We don't know where he, where, where he come from. What did the book say, brother? The man answered and said unto them. What did he say? Why herein is a marvelous thing. A marvelous thing has been done. What did he say? That ye know not from whence he is. What did he say, brother? And yet he have opened mine eyes. He no opened my eyes. What did he say? Now we know that God hear not sinners. We know God don't hear sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God. But if any man be a worshiper of God. And do of his will. And do God's will. Him he hear. What the book say, brother? Since the world begins. Since the world begins. Was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind? All this conversation because the Son of God then gave this man some sight. And they just don't want to accept it. Who is it that don't want to accept what the Son of God has done? Religious folk. Them that say that they know God. Who is our fight with today? Religious folk. Them that say they know God. What the book say, brother? If this man were not of God. If this man was not of God. He could do nothing. Hit the, a man trying to get him to see. Do you understand? You see, he can see now naturally and spiritually. He said, if this man, my God, man, wasn't of God, he couldn't do nothing. What did he say, brother? They answered him and said. What did they say? Him, that was altogether born in sin. Now they're going to jump on him. You were all together born in sin. And do as thou teach us. And you going to teach us something? And they cast him out. And they did what? And they cast him out. They done cast the man out now. So mad and threw the man out. But Jesus going to hear about it. Jesus going to hear that they done throw him out. Read, brother. And Jesus heard that they had cast him out. Jesus heard that they done cast him out. And, and what he, happened, brother? And when he had found him. And when Jesus found him. He said unto him. What did Jesus say to him? Doest thou believe on the Son of God? When Jesus found him. Jesus asked, do if you believe on the Son of God. What the book say, brother? He answered and said. He answered and said. Who is he, Lord? Who is he, Lord? That I might believe. That I might believe on him. And Jesus said unto and him. And Jesus said unto him. Thou hast both seen him. You both have seen him. And it is he that talketh with thee. I'm talking to you right now. And what happened, brother? And he said. And what did the, what the man said? Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. And what did he do, brother? And he worshiped him. I believe, and he worshipped him. I'm telling all of you that are watching and listening, and you that are here, you better believe. And you better worship him. Do you hear me talking? You better be just like this man here. You better be a believer, and you better worship him. Do you understand? And if you don't worship and honor him, you cannot worship and honor the Father. It's impossible according to the scripture. Because the Father said, honor him. Hebrew 1, 6, brother, we coming to a close. My God, the Father said to honor him. That's what the Father left on record. Hebrew 1, 6, brother, what did it say? And again. And again. When he bringeth in the first begotten into the world. When he brought in, the Father brought in the first begotten, his son, Jesus Christ, into the world. What did he say? He said. What? And let all the angels of God worship him. The Father said, I want all the angels. To worship my son. I want all the angels. Every last one of the angels. You are to worship my son. Is that what y'all read? Did they do it? Did they do it? Did they worship the son? Amen. Give me Revelation brother 5 and 6. We're coming to a close. Let's see if they're going to worship the son. He said I want all the angels to worship him. That's what the Father said. I want all the angels to worship my son. Let's go, my God, Revelation 5 and 6, and let's get around God's throne and see what we can find. Revelation 5 and 6 said what? And I beheld. And I beheld. And lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts. What's what? And in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain. Wait a minute. 
around the throne stood a what? A lamb. And what it looked like? As it had been slain. There was a lamb around God's throne, and it looked like that lamb had been slain. Do you remember when Jesus was walking, my God, man, and John saw him in John chapter 1, and he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which cometh to take away the sins of the world. Now in Revelation chapter 5, you got that lamb around the throne, and the Bible said it looked like he had been slain. Not still is slain, had been slain. Why had been? Because he been he done got out that grave. <laughs> he done rose. So it looked like he had been slain. Do you understand? In other words, it looked like a lamb that was once dead. What the book say, brother? Having seven horns and seven eyes. And which are the seven spirits of God what? sent forth. Read it, brother. Sent forth into all the earth. What did he say, son? And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You see, the lamb, he came to the throne, and he took the book out of the hand of him. You remember the Bible said, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. That was the son of God letting us know all the book was written of him. He's the one that's got to do the will of God. So he took the book out of his hand showing, I got this. I'm going to fulfill all that's written in this book. Amen. Do you understand? And let me tell you, when he fulfilled it, he said, it's finished. Amen. It's finished. In other words, I got this. That was the son of God. What did it say, brother? And when he had taken the book. When he took the book. The four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on, twin. They fell down before who? Before the lamb. They fell down before who? Before the lamb. And what happened? Having every one of them harps. Harps? And, and golden vials. And golden vials? Full of odors. Full of odors? Which are the prayers of the saints. So they brought the prayers of the saints and fell down with the prayers of the saints before the lamb. Amen. Why before the lamb? He the mediator. You got to come through the mediator. Do you understand? That's why I was brought before the Lamb. He's the access. What the book say? And they sung a new song. What did they say? Saying, what? Thou art worthy to take the book. So they sang it to the Lamb. Amen. Remember Hebrew 1, 6? I want all the angels to worship my song. Amen. They sang it to the Lamb around God's throne. What did it say, brother? And to open the seals thereof. What did it say, brother? For thou was slain. Yeah. They talking about the Lamb. Thou was slain and what? And have redeemed us to God by thy blood. Wait a minute. You were slain and he did what? Redeemed us to God. Mediator. Intercessor. You were slain and a result of you being slain, you brought us back to God. What the book say, brother? And has redeemed us to God by thy blood. By your blood? Out of every kindred. Out of every kindred. And tongue. And tongue. And people. And people. And nation. And nation. And has made us unto our God. And have made us unto who? Our God. What did he make us? Kings and priests. He made us kings and priests to our God. What did he say, brother? And we shall reign on the earth. We shall reign right on the earth. What the book say, brother? And I beheld. And I beheld. And I heard the voice of many angels. Wait a minute. Me. Hebrew 1, 6. I want all my angels to worship my son. He heard the voice of many what? Angels. And what they say? Round about the throne. Round about the throne? And the beasts and the elders. And what happened? And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000. And, and what else? And thousands of thousands. That's a lot of angels, ain't it? 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Let me tell you something. That's a lot of angels. What are they saying, bro? Saying with a loud voice. What did they say? Worthy is the lamb that was slain. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Worthy is what? Worthy is the lamb. So all these angels around God's throne singing to the Lamb. Yeah. Hebrew 1, 6, I want all the angels to worship my son. Mm -hmm. Do it look like they're doing it? They're doing it they're What's doing wrong it. with these preachers? What's wrong with y'all brothers? What Bible are y'all reading? The Bible said their eyes have been closed. Their ears are dull of hearing. Do you understand? Satan done rock y'all brothers to sleep. I said Satan done rock you to sleep. 
Do you understand? I got a text message this morning, my God, when we left the radio station out of Arkansas. And I told my brother, I said, I'm going to have to use that, brother. He sent me a text. He said, man, Satan done slit these brothers' wrists, and they bleed not, and they won't even let Jesus patch them up. <laughs> he said, Satan done slit their wrists, and they just bleed not. And Jesus trying to patch them, and they don't want the patch. They'd rather die. Do you understand? And that's the condition of many. They'd rather die than accept Jesus Christ for who he is. Do you understand? You better let Jesus patch you. You better let him bind up that wound. Do you understand? Wrap it up, brother. We got to get out of here. What did it say? Worthy is the lamb. Worthy is the lamb. That was slain to receive power. He was slain to receive power. And riches. You see, they say he ain't got no power. The Bible says he was slain to receive power. What the book say, brother? And riches. And riches. And wisdom. And wisdom. And strength. And strength. And honor. And honor. And glory. And gl you see, he got glory. He was slain, my God, man, to receive glory. What the book say, brother? And blessing. And blessing. And every creature which is in heaven. Every creature which is in heaven. And on the earth. On, and on the earth. And under the earth. That got everything wrapped up. In earth, under the earth. And what it say, brother? And such as are in the sea. And such as is in the sea. And all that are in them. And all that are in them. Heard our saying. What they say? Blessing. Blessing. And honor. And honor. And glory. And glory. And power. And power. Be unto him that sitteth upon the throne. Be unto him that sitteth on the throne. And unto the Lamb forever and ever. And unto who? The Lamb. For how long? Forever and ever. So him that's sitting on the throne and who else? And unto the Lamb. For how long? Forever and ever. Yeah, man. You better give him honor forever and ever. Thank God for Jesus. Again, all you brothers, we're looking for y'all December 10th. You will be treated with much love, much respect, and much hospitality. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to reign supreme. Do you hear me talking? This is my seal. This is my buckler. This is my hiding place. This is my strong tower. I run right here for shelter. Man. Do you understand? You see, I ain't going to run from you. My God, I'm going to run right here. And when I get right here, I'm going to rest. I'm like that cat. My God, they said that dog ran the cat up the tree. Said they was at the cat. He was running. Said after a while, he, the cat found a tree. Said that cat ran up the tree. Said when he got up the tree, said that cat crossed his paws. Said a cat went up that tree, my God, and went out on a limb and crossed his paws. Said when that dog was down there just running around the tree, he was mad. Biting the buck of the tree. <laughs> said a cat didn't even look down at it. Because the cat knew. They said a cat was even licking his paw. Taking him a little bath. He didn't even look down at the dog. Because the cat had a knowledge to know. You can act bigger fool down there you, that you want to act. But you can't climb this tree. So I ain't even got to look at you. Because you can't climb. It's not in your nature to climb. So I don't have to run from you no more. Do you understand? Let me tell y'all something. My God, when I get right here, I cross my paw. I ain't running. And I ain't scared. My God, man, look here. I'll sit. My God, like the song said, on the dock of the bay. <laughs> Long as I got this right here, I'm going to sit right here. And when you're huffing, and puffing, and when you get to talking loud and screaming and all that, like the brother did this morning, I'm going to let you settle down. And if you carry on too long, I'm going to ask you to settle down. And then I'm going to ask you, uh, brother, give me, give me so something out of this right here. You see, your loud talk don't mean nothing. Give me something that I can read. And if you can't read it, shut your mouth. Because your mouth don't mean nothing. It means absolutely nothing. Do you understand? My God, so when I run to this right here, I'm, my pose is crossed. I don't care how loud, I don't care what names, it don't matter. This is my shield and my buckler. And once I get here, I'm at home. I said I'm at home. I ain't running no far, I'm going to run right here. I'm going to run right here and I'm going to die. I'm going to die right here. I'm going to die right here. The name of the Lord is a strong power. And the righteous runneth into it. And they safe right there. Until next time, peace be unto you.